time now on Golfing World to look back at the best of the action from the 2011 LPGA Tour season. After a tight contest in 2010, which saw control of the Rolex rankings number one spot change hands on five separate occasions, South Korea's Ji Shin began the year as the top-ranked female player in the world. However, it would be 2010 Rolex Player of the Year Yanni Seng who assumed control of that position before the season opening Honda LPGA Thailand. Following wins at the Tai Fong Ladies Open in her native Taiwan, the ISPS Handa Women's Australian Open, and the ANZ RACV Ladies Masters. And the 22-year-old retained the momentum of those successes, opening the season at the Siam Country Club by grabbing the lead going into the final round. Michelle Wee, searching for her third LPGA Tour win, would offer resistance thanks to shots like that. While South Korea's IK Kim, who opened with a first round 63, would push Seng all the way before a quintuple bogey nine at the 17th derailed her title bid. Seng went on to complete a round of 66 to claim her sixth LPGA Tour win by a five-shot margin, the start of a scintillating year. Seng was again in contention in Singapore for the HSBC Women's Champions, but a final round 67 for the Rolex rankings number one would only be good enough for third place, though, as Chi Arimura and LPGA legend Carrie Webb battled it out at the top of the leaderboard. A gutsy up and down for birdie at the par 4 16th would prove decisive for Webb, the most prolific LPGA winner still out on tour, as she finished with a pair of pars to seal a one-shot victory, her first LPGA win in nearly two years. Phoenix, Arizona was the venue for the first US-based event of the season, as the R.R. Donnelly Founders' Cup marked a moment in golfing history. The new tournament aimed at honoring the 13 founding members of the tour while also providing for the future of the women's game saw the players forego tournament earnings for charity. Carrie Webb playing on behalf of the Christopher and Dana Ree Foundation would follow up her success in Asia with four flawless rounds to seal the 38th LPGA Tour title of her glittering career. Germany's Sandra Gall picked up her first top 10 finish of the year in Arizona and would arrive at the Kia Classic in the city of industry in fantastic form. She would, though, face stiff competition from world number two and playing partner G.A. Shin. The two would go toe-to-toe -to -toe over the final day, and as they reached the final hole, Gall held a one-shot advantage as she eyed up her approach to the 18th green. This 83-yard wedge shot by the University of Florida graduate would hand her the chance to seal the win. Moments later, her ruthless putting stroke would confirm a maiden LPGA victory. The tour remained in California for the Kraft Nabisco Championship, the first major of the year. Defending champion Yanni Seng raced into the lead with rounds of 70, 68 and 66. But her fortunes around the stunning Rancho Mirage layout would run into the diminutive figure of Stacy Lewis. The 26-year-old trailed Seng by two strokes heading into Sunday but would shoot a brilliant three under par 69, characterized by this perfectly judged par putt from the fringes at the 17th. Seng could only muster a two over par 74. Lewis was a new American star. Stacy Lewis wins for the first time, and it's here at a major championship. and takes down the number one player in the game. Most of the world figured Yanni would do this because she's been so dominant. You thought otherwise. What did you find out about yourself today? Um, that I can play with the best in the world, and um, I knew I could hang with Yanni, and I did it, and still, still just can't believe it. <laughs> Mobile, Alabama was the backdrop for the season's next big story. A 16-year-old starlet, Lexi Thompson, playing on a sponsor's invite, began the final round tied for the lead. Her hopes of becoming the youngest ever winner of an LPGA event would fizzle out with a 78, and she ended up in 19th place, but her time would come. The experienced Swede, Maria Hjort, would take the spoils as her surefire putting guided her to a fifth LPGA triumph. Fellow European Suzanne Pedersen would make her mark on the 2011 season of the Cybase Match Play Championship. After downing the likes of Natalie Gulbis, Amy Hung, Stacey Lewis, Yanni Seng and Na Yon Choi, the Norwegian star took on Christy Kerr in the final and duly claimed her first win since September 2009 with this par putt at 18. 
The mid-season swing kicked into gear at the ShopRite LPGA Classic in Galloway, New Jersey. Brittany Lincecum produced the lowest round of the week with a brilliant 7 under par 64 on the Friday. And as Sunday drew to a close, she would hold the outright lead ahead of Christy Kerr and G.A. Shin. A wayward three wood to the final green would leave her in trouble, but this brilliant recovery from the long grass would see the Florida-born star finish on top of the leaderboard. After an imposing start to 2011, Yanni Seng had been going through something of a lean patch since narrowly missing out at the Kraft Nabisco back in April. That would change at the State Farm Classic before a brilliant 10-shot victory two weeks later at the Wegmans Championship made her the youngest player to win four majors. She also became the first player to post a 20 under par total in a major. I said today I'm just gonna finish with 20 under. So I'm trying hard, I try to make birdies and then like last three home, my caddy just told me, okay, if you get to the 20, I buy you a dinner. I said, is that a good deal or not? <laughs> just a dinner? And then, so last part, I told my caddy, okay, this is for the dinner. <laughs> so it was fun. A third straight title would evade saying at the US Open, though, as South Korea's So Yun Ru upset the odds to take the third major of the year, beating He Kyung So in a playoff. Ai Miyazato had been one of the stars of the 2010 season, claiming five wins as she rose to the top of the Rolex rankings. 2011, though, was proving to be a disappointing year. That was until the Evian Masters in France. The Japanese star outlasted Stacey Lewis and I.K. Kim down the stretch to repeat her Evian win of 2009 and add to her six previous LPGA Tour wins. The players remained in Europe for the final major of the year as Carnoustie played host to the Rico Women's British Open. Yanni Seng mastered the links, fending off a spirited display by Caroline Masson. The German definitely had her moments, but the star from Taiwan was shining brightly, and her four-shot win firmly set her place in golfing history as the youngest player, male or female, to win five major championships. She also became the first defending Women's British Open champion to reclaim the title. August saw the tour move back to North America, as Suzanne Pedersen and Brittany Lincecum picked up their second wins of the year at the Safeway Classic and the CN Canadian Open, respectively. Runaway world number one Yanni Seng returned to winning ways at the Arkansas Championship, but a new young star would emerge in the month of September. Seng's record-breaking season was briefly put on hold, as Lexi Thompson confirmed her potential with an emphatic five-shot win at the Navistar Classic, making her the youngest ever winner of an LPGA event at 16 years, seven months and eight days old. Victory for the record books, and Lexi Thompson is a winner at just 16 years of age. Well, I definitely knew I could hold a record, but you know, I was just focusing on you know playing the golf course today and just doing my best, and that's, that's all I could do. Thompson's electrifying performance was followed a week later by the 12th staging of the Solheim Cup at the stunning Colleen Castle course in Ireland. After two days of four balls and foursomes, Europe and the United States stood locked at eight all with just Sunday's singles left to play. Momentum would swing one way and the other, but Europe, inspired by world number two Suzanne Pedersen's dramatic turnaround win over Michelle Wee, would end their run of three successive defeats with a 15-13 triumph. The tour moved continents to Asia for a run of four tournaments. The Hana Bank Championship in South Korea's capital city of Seoul will provide Yanni Seng with her ninth worldwide win of the year as she outgunned home favorite and defending champion Na Yon Choi. Seng had to settle for second at the Saim Derby in Malaysia, enough to secure a second successive Rolex Player of the Year award. But Na Yon Choi had her revenge here. A one-shot victory over Seng sealed a first LPGA trophy of the season and her fifth win in three years. A stunning performance from the 23-year-old Korean. Na Yon Choi reverses the result from Korea. Choi was celebrating, but she couldn't live with the world number one in her own backyard. At the Sunrise LPGA Taiwan Championship, Yanni Seng completed a second home win of the year, crushing the rest of the field by five shots. There is no place like home. Yanni Seng makes a nation celebrate. 
An already amazing year would see Seng pick up her 11th and final win of the year in China a week later. Streets ahead in the Rolex rankings, she was enjoying a dominance comparable to Tiger Woods in his pomp. The Mizuno Classic in Japan would mark the end of the 2011 Asian swing as the LPGA Tour made an emotional return to the country for the first time since March's earthquakes and the tsunami disaster. Fittingly, home favourite Momoko Ueda would take the title for the second time in her career, beating China's Shan Shang Feng in a playoff. The fourth annual staging of the Lorena Ochoa Invitational at the Guadalajara Country Club would provide yet another romantic story in a season full of magical moments. Solheim Cup hero Katrina Matthew arrived in Mexico without her usual caddy husband Graham, who returned to their home in Scotland to look after their children. Instead, long-term friend and regular PGA Tour caddy Chuck Hirsch was on the bag, as Katrina wowed the crowds with some terrific golf on her way to a four-shot win, her first since the Women's British Open in 2009. An incredible season wound to an end as the Tour arrived home in Florida for the first staging of the CME Group title holders at Grand Cypress. Sandra Gao made much of the early running, but she couldn't last the pace as South Korea's Hee Young Park broke away from a loaded leaderboard to become a Rolex first-time winner and scoop the $500,000 first prize, ahead of the likes of Paula Kramer, Suzanne Pedersen and Yanni Seng. So there you have it. 2011 has been a record-breaking year for the LPGA Tour, with Yanni Seng far and away the standout performer. You can see how she and the other stars perform in 2012 right here on Golfing World as we follow the tour every step of the way.